All right, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Big Rich, Queens, New York City, where we get busy Monday afternoon business. Ladies and gentlemen, come on in, wipe your feet on the rug, throw some smoke in the atmosphere. I just lit up some ice cream. So sweet, so nice. Let's get right into it. This next story coming out of gangstersreport.com by the world-famous Scott Bernstein. Salute to you, sir. Now, you know, I always get a little sad when I got to do stories like this when people passing away, but still... We, you know, it's business. We got to conduct it. You know what it is? It is what it is. Johnny on the spot, no more. Boston's North End mourns loss of beloved middle-level mafia figure. Veteran Boston wise guy Johnny Cincotti died last week at 81. He was stricken with Alzheimer's disease. A staple in Boston's North End for decades, the well-liked and congenial Cincotti owned and operated out of the acclaimed Bellinopoli Italian restaurant. Cincotti was living in Wayland, Massachusetts at the time of his death. His last prison sentence came to a close almost 25 years ago, in 1997. He was busted twice by the feds on illegal gambling and racketeering offenses. Cincotti's mentor in the Patriarca crime family was Ralph Ralphie Chong Lamatina. He helped Lamatina run the Nightlight Cafe and Enrico Social Club, a pair of North End gambling hotspots. In the 1970s and 80s, Cincotti oversaw several backroom casinos and dice games operating in the North End on behalf of powerful Boston mob figures Jerry Angiulo and Larry Zanino. Angiulo was Patriarca's underboss. Zanino was the cap Zanino was the capo both Lamantina and Cincari reported to. Cincari was present behind the bar at the nightclub when Ralphie Chong and Zanino murdered two rogue racketeers, author Tash Bratsos and Tommy D. DePrisco, inside the Nightlife Cafe on November 15, 1966. Police officers arrived on the scene of the double homicide. The bodies were stuffed in DePrisco's Cadillac to find Lamantina and Cincari on their hands and knees, frantically scrubbing the bloodstains off the establishment's entryway. Short and to the point, first of all, rest in peace to Johnny Cincari. Everything comes to an end. And uh, Alzheimer's disease is is not a joke. It, it, it's a sad way to go. So first of all, I want to say rest in peace to Johnny. We salute you. And then, of course, Scott Bernstein for the article. Gangstersreport.com. The link will be in the description box. Mob Stories. Big Rich. Season 3. Like, comment, and share. Let me know what you're smoking on. And let me know the city you're smoking in. I'm from New York City, Queens, where we get busy. And we will talk soon. Salute.